What is up my friends and what is up all of you X-Men 97 fans? Another week has come and that means another episode of X-Men 97 has come. This one is called Remember It. And I was actually a little bit confused when I saw this title because Life Death Part 1 was the final episode last week and so I was expecting Part 2 here but I guess we're just moving on. Maybe we'll get back to the Storm stuff at some point. I don't know. We'll see. But what's going to be happening today is I'm going to be reacting to this episode. I wanted to watch it with you guys and then I'm going to be giving a full review afterwards. So maybe Make sure you stick around for that. But as always, before we dive in, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe if you're new here. And if you don't, I understand. My channel is nothing to marvel at. <laughs> but okay, episode five, let's see what's going on here. I mean, I've said it like a dozen times now about the intro. It's getting old, but it's a good intro. Okay. Let's do this thing. Is it caused by atomic testing? Or is it nature herself deciding the time has come to change the- Trish Tilby. Some call them monsters, but all over the planet they are known as mutants. We prefer to see it as a world that misunderstands- Remember it. Anything helping us build those bridges as a journalist is esteemed as yourself. Beast must have some sort of like, I don't know, somebody that helps him with his wardrobe, always just looking fly. Westchester County sits an unassuming English estate, a school for mutants founded by the late Professor Charles Xavier. Not like regular boring classes, more hands-on learning, you know, but with big death machines and vampire dinosaurs. <laughs> Forgotten, desperate to belong. Aww. That sense of belonging goes worldwide today as the UN formally admits the mutant nation of Genosha. That's dope. Gambit, please remember that should the new Blackbird suffer a malfunction, you are the only soul on board for whom gravity would most certainly be an issue. <laughs> hey, y'all. They be busy doing a bit of renovating since Gambit's last bit. <laughs> they be busy doing a bit of renovating. <laughs> like, the way he talks just kills me. Yum. Whoa. What kind of mutant is that? Whoa, fairy mutant. Jelly dude is a bit strange. Oh, cool. They have like Magneto freedom posters. That's fun. A lot of smiles at the mansion when we heard Madeline Pryor scored a top spot among Genosha's brass. Okay, so Madeline Pryor is now kind of just like a main character. I confess. The Master of Magnetism was surprised to receive an invite bearing the United Nations seal. Magneto, the Interim Council would love a word with you before tonight's gala. Privately, if possible. <laughs> oh, no way! On a live wire. Kurt Wagner, how the heck are you, furball? Sick. Convenience to see such wonders in this city. Come. <laughs> Everything around us would not have been possible without the work of the X-Men. Versing a nation overnight is not without its share of stumbles. <laughs> Ignore him. Well, I can't help but... He is so dang cool. I'm having trouble remembering that character's name, though. They said Kurt Wagner. But what's, like, the character's name? <laughs> dang, mutant concert. It does not take a priest to see you on both souls. Touch in every gaze. <laughs> oh, so Gambit is into Rogue. Just marry Isabel and be done. Yeah, but her and Magneto are kind of magnetico. Well, if being an X-Man teaches anything, Miss Tilby, it's to expect the unexpected. Hey, uh, O'Shea's the widow at the light. Can you take him off? No. Actually, let's talk about you and Marvel Girl. So I have to ask, when did you know she was the one? Interesting. You're skipping the questions, too. Hard to interview someone who can't tell which parts of her memories belong to her and which parts belong to her clone. That's cool that she just kicks it underwater or in water. Like the face of an old friend seen from every angle but the one in your memory. This busted mug ain't changed in a hundred years, and you know it. We were in Nevada. I had just acquired the power of a cosmic entity. The Phoenix. Oh, yeah. I wanted to reassure him. I wanted to show her that nothing had changed. 
liking this little back and forth here. And nothing happened. Jean was using the power of the Phoenix to block my optic blasts. Oh, cool. They anchored me, focused me. His eyes made me stay. Now, I know all about drowning in memories. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Wolverine's past is the, the actual sad story. Oh. I'm your Jean Grey. He's Scott Summers. What is happening? You just forgot him for a sec. Everybody's making out in this show all the time. Now, the latest adventure, Parenthood. Jean and I don't have any kids. You don't? No. Bit of a sore subject. Bit of a sinister subject. Uh, thank you. Just last month, born at Westchester Memorial. Uh, I spoke to a Dr. Bryan's there. He said... You got all that documented, huh? <laughs> he called my kid a freak. Scott, I came here today to give the X-Men a chance to show the world that mutants are just like us. I said because you're normal. You're ungrateful. I gave him up. I gave him up because you can't say thank you. Because I He's gonna ruin the alliance, isn't he? I lie because the truth is we're nothing like you. Thank God, because it's the only reason you people are still alive. Whoa. How about we calm down? Unprecedented fashion for our kind. With even the most overlooked of us, finally. Oh, I thought this was like the 1800s all of a sudden. Careful, Miss Frost. Don't go filling this man's head with such notions. Who's... <laughs> Moira's a fierce ally to mutants, and we all agreed on a title of Chancellor. Supreme Leader, the Chancellor. One could argue, and many sadly do, that none of us would be here today were it not for you and your publicity stunt. It wasn't much of a publicity stunt. He literally lifted them up into the air and, like, he completely leveled the playing field and told them exactly, he told the world exactly what they needed to hear. Look, Matt. I may not be Jean Grey, but I know what the professor would say if he was here. Time to dream bigger. Man, I miss the professor. I oughta knock you from here to the North Pole. You think making me your queen means we're getting back together? Oh, dang. You take me for a fool, acting like this is all about you and the professor. Yeah, I don't know. When you really think about it, do we, do we think that Xavier actually gave him the X-Men? Has this all been a ploy? I can't believe I lost it like that. Oh, Scott, anger is normal, even for mutants. Sometimes you just have to let go. There are some things worth holding on to. Describe him to me. Describe Nathan. He looks like a baby. In every face on every street, so clearly. I can't see color, but up here, it reminds me of... Don't tell me you can explain. What? If you'll excuse us, Madeline. Something wrong, Miss Bryan? Ah, dang. Communicating via psychic rapport was our thing, Scott. Just stop and let me explain, please. I know what I saw. Jean, you... How long has it been happening? Oh, so he's like having super secret relationship. Weird. What you saw on the astral plane was confusion, Jean. Grief. Mm-hmm. About right now. Do you love her? I love both of you. She go on a uh, Seeking Sister Wives. There's that show. Cuts out a part of me and you love it? That wasn't love in there. It's ego. Do you love me, Jean? Or am I just a lovely memory? What just happened? It was back after I ran away from my daddy. My evil mother was helping me with my powers. Said she knew a fella who could help. What's up? I'm Magneto. He showed me that being a mutant wasn't just about my power. Jeez. And when he realized that his electromagnetic powers protected him from my touch, other things started happening. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they did. There wasn't enough room in our affair for his demons and, and mine. He acted like it never happened. We both did. You gonna accept his offer? You never wanted to make things official. I respected that. I played the swamp rat. 
And I played your share. You tell her, Gambit. Every time, looking at you, seeing all the things I couldn't do. Tell Gambit the dang truth. I can't touch you, Remy. Your heart may beat for me, but I can't feel it. This is deep. Light up everything you touch, but never me. Aww. I'll wager that fool will break your heart in two. Gambit always knows the odds. That it? In this game, we do. Till then, we be friends, more than me. Um. Did anybody else just see that? I feel like I just saw. I feel like I just saw the Watcher in the sky. Did anybody? Maybe I'm seeing things. Whatever is the matter, Doctor Cooper? Is it your dress? They seem like vampires, those two. Genosha's right to self-govern will not only be protected, but cherished, as it is with all UN nations. If it eases your mind, Magneto accepts it only on the condition that we ask one of the X-Men to govern with him, Rogue. What did she say? Yeah, did she accept? Oh, dang. It's Hermione. So all of this was just an Enya music video. This is some uh, Ready Player One type stuff. Yeah, I, I don't know how to dance. I don't know how to float. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Wow, they're getting kind of, whoa, kind of hot and heavy here. This show, <laughs> something else. What is happening? Why are they getting shot in the face so much? What is it? What in the world? Some things are deeper than skin. Turn it off. The music. Get everybody out. What? Kill the music. Cable. You have to get everyone out. Now. Cable. Cable, what's going on? Body slide. One. No, no. Not again. I... What is happening? You made it. You survived. I'm so sorry, Mom. What? Sorry for what? What in the world is going on? This show is so crazy. Oh no. Oh dang, man. My goodness. Oh no. He alive. So are you. Gun, how many? Too many. So many. Oh dang, man. Promise was made. Okay, I'm back to thinking that Magneto is a good guy. We shall not live our days wondering if we could have saved more. Let's go. This is freaking epic. God, Gambit is awesome. Wow. Big statue of Charles. What's happening? They shall be avenged. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh. Oh. 
Magneto is out here just giving everything. Is it just Magneto being awesome? Ah, God. Dang, he's blocking it out. Harry, when the connection's broken, you must get back to the port key. He's trying to protect us, Rose. Oh. <laughs> no way, dude. Is Magneto actually dead? Oh my goodness. Why do I have chills? No, dude. What? The name's Gambit. Oh, not me. Sweet. Remember it. So are Gambit and Magneto, like, dead? How many, damn it? Regardless of your stance on recent world events, oh the images you are about to see may be disturbing. My goodness. <sighs> so good. What happened? Who? I, I can't feel you. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, wow, man. Wow. Wow. Well, um, I didn't expect that ending, to be honest. With the way that that episode started on Genosha, I think was what it was called, the special place for all these mutants and, like, mutant kids and stuff. You know, it just kind of had a similar vibe maybe to uh, Motendo, as well as some of the other episodes. Like, it just kind of seemed like it was going to be sort of a fun, upbeat episode that was going to move the plot along, but the ending just got so dark so quick. You had mutants just dying, and then you have Magneto in Gambit, and it looks like Magneto is gone. I, I, I don't know what to make of all of this. What I will say is that this show continues to deliver at a level that I didn't think it was going to. I didn't think when I heard about an X men 97 series hearing that they're going to reboot this series and continue where they left off like i just i did not expect it to be this good but it really really seems like kevin feige and team over at marvel they know how to handle the x-men because this is some really heavy material all of these episodes have been pretty mature obviously i keep commenting on the amount people are like kissing and there's a lot of these relationships but also just like the sheer terror of the other side you know i don't know what these sentinels were who attacked near the end but it truly felt like this terrorist attack on mutants it was really brutal there was a lot of carnage you even saw i finally remembered his name you even saw nightcrawler i'd love to see him come back just the introduction of him to this episode i was like dude like, i love that character but some things that i don't want to forget that i want to touch on really briefly you have madeline's interaction with cable and cable is her son i mean that was crazy in itself i thought kind of that was just going to be the crux of the episode but he's giving this warning and you see these explosions going on in the back and then all hell breaks loose but i don't know what that cable moment meant it was very much like a john connor i'm coming from the future terminator moment trying to warn you and he's like i'm sorry mom like i didn't get to you in time that kind of thing so i don't know if we're gonna like jump forward and go into the future at some point and see what's going on up there and why they're trying to come back i don't really know what this whole terrorist type attack means for the x-men you still have quite a bit of the team who are all still alive there but you also have rogue who just lost gambit who just lost magneto over here in genosha and what in the hell is she gonna do it really was a solid way to end the episode and 
so far with this show, I've had a lot of excitement. There have been moments where I've just been like, yes, let's go. But this is the first time that I actually felt like straight up emotional. That ending scene really got me. She says, I can't feel you. And it just fades to black and it just kind of lingers there. They take a beat. They pause there. They let you feel the weight of the situation. That was beautiful, man. Freaking X-Men 97. I don't know. How are you guys feeling out there? This is crazy. One more thing, though, that I wanted to address. There was a moment in the sky and there was a big shadow and I'm going back, I'm looking at the footage right now. That's clearly the Watcher, guys. Isn't that the Watcher? So what does that mean? I think you saw me during the episode kind of like stop because it lingers on it for a second and uh, you can see kind of the cape and you see the big head and I thought, I didn't know whether I was seeing things or not, but that's clearly the Watcher. So are they just trying to say just sort of this is all in the same universe and the Watcher is watching over everything or does that have a bit more meaning? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments because that is a very interesting thing. Also, let me know what you thought about this entire episode. Where do you think this is all heading. I mean, things kind of just took a turn and it's very crazy. I think obviously next week, hopefully we get back to Storm and that life death part two, but please leave all of your thoughts down below. I read every comment that comes in and I'd love to hear your guys' theories. But also I want to let you guys know that I have a goal right now. I'm trying to get to 15,000 subscribers and if you haven't yet, please click subscribe, help me achieve my goals. I'd very much appreciate it. But before you head out, make sure you smash like. You can follow me on X at Jones Vibes Only. Click on another video after this and don't forget to keep up the good vibes guys but that was episode 5 of x-men 97 and uh where do we go from here i don't know this is just this is insane <laughs>